This makeup look, honey, I got glue all over the place. Hey everyone, this is Kiyash coming at you today with another video. Another, not another tutorial, baby. The first tutorial I've done in forever, okay? But before we get started with this tutorial, darling, and before you learn how to do these beats, please do one thing for me, baby. If you're not subscribed, honey, please subscribe to my channel. It will mean the world to me. And if you are subscribed and you've been subscribed, thank you. Thank you. Muchisimas gracias. Thank you What so a better much. way to start the first makeup tutorial that I have done in 2020. 2021, 2020, probably 2019 and 2018. Um, then doing it with this beautiful palette that I won for my girl Bobby Lace Beauty giveaway. This palette is absolutely amazing, absolutely stunning. How Colors. stunning! <laughs> Colors are everything. Pigmentation is superb. Absolutely love this palette, and I created this eyeshadow look. I hope you guys like this look, and yeah. You guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. It means the world to me. I hope you guys like this makeup tutorial. Um, I have not done a makeup tutorial in so long. It's been forever. So yeah, you guys, I hope you guys like this look, and stay tuned for the tutorial so what i did to prep my skin was first apply my moisturizer which i applied this oregon 24 hours face protecting cream with pure argan oil which looks like this that's what i applied as a moisturizer all over my face right after that i applied this model cold skin perfecting liquid that looks like this this and right after that i did apply just on my nose to make my nose nice and smooth I applied this model called Pore Minima Minimizer, which looks like this. This is just basically to fill in the pores. I have also applied after that. And I know it's a lot, darling. I applied this Flawless Poreless P by Pixi, which looks like this. As well as the foundation that I did use, because I did do my base already as my foundation, was this True Blend number P7. And this is from CoverGirl which looks like this. This is the foundation I did apply. And I did pair and I did quite a bit of this Revlon Photo Ready Face Illuminizer and the color is 400 Bronze Light. I did apply this quite heavy because I wanted to have that glow. On my skin. Um, And yeah, that is so, it. So honey, what we're going to use today, honey, is this palette right here. I'll apply this eye base though. This right here, this one is from I believe Bitch Lab Cosmetics, I'm not sure. Um, and I'm gonna apply it um, with this Tweezerman brush. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube that say, you know, that they, they buy an eyeshadow um, palette, but they get intimidated by the colors um, or the color story. With this eyeshadow palette, honestly, truly, all colors go together. All color um, could be used in combination. Um, there is no way, shape, or form that you can like kind of mess up this, this eyeshadow palette. Like any color combination that you decide to do with this palette, they all go together, blend that out. So we're gonna first go into the second color in which it is a beautiful yellow. It's not a bright yellow, it's more like a mustard yellow. It's an absolutely beautiful color. And I'm gonna take this brush, which this brush is from one of those glam bags that I used to get a long time ago. And I'm gonna basically apply this color. Look at how pigmented it is. That's just one, honey. And I'm gonna, and there is a little bit of fallout on the pan, but it's nothing crazy. This right in my crease look at the pigmentation okay going back and forth back and forth honey back 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 and forth oh. okay a little dab honey and back and forth and just build that color up nicely get that right in the corner of your eyes honey get get it right in there honey and I'm flicking that color up without adding any more color as I'm blending the corners out. I'm just literally, literally flicking the corners with the same brush upwards towards my eyebrow. Boom. Now from here, I'm going to just go ahead and take my trusty dusty blending brush. This one is from Essential Beauty. This blending brush, I actually purchased it in TJ Maxx years ago and it's actually amazing. Um, I love it. I bought this at the dollar store. And it actually, it actually works fine. You just got the little sponge, you just take your brush, make sure there's only powder on it, honey. Only the powder. And you just go ahead and just rub it around and it cleans it up. And then you can just use your, your brush. So I'm going to take that clean brush and I'm going to just lightly blend the corners out because you want to make sure that you look like you have blended for your life, darling. 
You don't want no harsh line. You don't want no harsh strength action. You don't want nothing harsh in life, okay? So you don't want a harsh eyeshadow. Unless that's the look you're going for. If that's what you're going for, hey, go all, go all out, honey. But if it's not, then don't, okay? So I'm going to take this brush. This is just a crease brush. Um, I don't know who it's by, but it says crease, honey. So we know it's sort of crease. So we're going to take this brush, and I'm going to go into this first color right here, which it is like a burnt orange, okay? It's a matte burnt orange, and I'm going to put that right in the crease as well, focusing it more on the outer portion, and I'm going to bring it all the way inward halfway, okay? So I'm going to apply it in the, in the outer corner of the eye, and I'm going to bring it, drag it in halfway, okay? So put it right here, and just drag it in halfway, and just stop right there. Just go back and forth right there, blend a little bit, add some more if you want some more, and just blend it in. Okay, you, do you see this color? Okay, so I'm gonna just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, dragging it into the middle. I do not want to go all the way in like I put that yellow yet. Okay, and I'm gonna take the corner and I'm gonna just flick it out. When I say the corner, I mean the corner of the eyeshadow. Okay, you're blending the corner of the eyeshadow. That's the corner, the corner. Then with the same brush, now that it's all distributed where I want it, I'm going to lightly bring it in. Not because I want to have the pigmentation of it like out here, but I want to have a hint, okay? I want to have a hint of that orange peeking through here. But I don't want it to be overpowering over anything. I just wanted a hint. As you can see, how do you hint to hint? The hint, darling. Add some more. And I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm going to blend the corners out. I'm going to take, go back to that yellow and I'm going to apply it right in between where the other yellow is at, which it almost faded out, and that burnt orange color. And apply some of that yellow again, honey. Because she has left the building, so you got to go and get her, honey, because she went outside. Um, Elvis has left the building when you Elvis. go. <laughs> okay, I'm you? For something, honey. She went to the car, darling, so you got to get her back. And then you realize, oh, well, she's looking more yellow on this side of this. I said, honey, just add more, honey. What? Don't be scared. Just add more. Honey, this is your face. Just add more yellow, honey. Okay? Boom. Now they're twinning. Um... From there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply dark purple right here. It's like a plummy purple. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's also a matte. I'm going to take that purple and I'm going to literally apply it right here in the outer corners. Okay, lightly dabbing, lightly bringing it in. I'm going to bring it in almost midway into the eyelid, but not quite, so... Uh, I'm not sure if that's one fourth. I'm not sure if that's one fifth. I'm not sure if that's one sixth. So, honey, wherever your pupil ends, the eye, you know, wherever your pupil ends, that is where you want to stop, okay? Because I don't know what percentage of the eyelid space that is. Uh, people be saying, you know, the one fourth, the one fifth, the one twenty, honey. I don't know, honey. All I know is the pupil, the pupil, honey, the pupil. So, stop at the pupil. And I'm going to go in the crease, honey. Stop at the pupil and increase the crease. Okay. Pass the pupil a little bit. It's okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to blame you. I'm not going to get mad. It's okay, you know. Just apply it in there. Apply that color. Apply that color in there. Um, you guys are probably like, oh, blend. Oh, you know, I thought you would have your hair done because, you know, and you guys, thank you so much for liking my hair and saying, um, honey, blend all the corners out. For liking my hair in my last videos and all of that, um, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to have my hair done for this video. And, um, I've been working, I work a lot. Honey, I've been working at work. Honey, where else would I work at? Um, but at work, I've been working a lot, so I have not had a lot of time to do my hair. So I was like, oh, maybe I could do a little hair video, but I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, let me know, let me know if you guys, you guys want to see a hair tutorial. The same purple, honey. The purple is everything. So I'm going to apply it out here, honey. Make sure you get that line. Blend her out. Make sure that all the colors are married. Make sure that all the colors love each other. Make sure that all the colors are cohesive, honey. They are all in a happy marriage and a happy relationship, okay? Now, from here, I'm going to go and apply this lovely, absolutely stunning, honey. Purple is like a purple shimmer. Watch it for you guys. Okay, gorgeous. Any color you have like that, let me swatch it here. Color that you have like this, honey, will do. And I'm going to basically apply this color for remainder eyelid space. 
I'm gonna go back into that purple and we're gonna basically make sure that those two colors do not fight. These two colors are going in with each other. So I'm gonna go work with that purple, apply some, and I'm gonna drag the purple into that shimmery, gorgeous, lilac y purple color. Honey, I am horrible, horrible, horrible explaining colors. After we're looking like a movie star, after we're looking like we're accomplished, after we're looking like we are ready, ready for something, honey. Ready, and hopefully you guys had a great Valentine's Day. And amazing Valentine's Day, honey. And absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and get, let me get that my foundation powder. Well, I can't find it, so what I'm gonna go into is this Krylon, honey. Krylon, honey. This is Krylon. This is the cake makeup. Literally, it's called cake makeup. Krylon is a very big, big, big makeup line for stage makeup. Performers, drag queens, you know, circus like you know, people that, you know, do stuff like that, they use Krylon, and this is one of their makeup. A lot of drag queens use their foundation sticks, which is extremely high coverage. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm gonna take this powder right here and i'm going to use this powder right here as my brow bone highlight with this brush right here which it does not have no name and that's why i don't really show you guys I'm like, oh yeah just use this brush because a lot of my brushes do not have names and honey if they're nameless honey i cannot tell you their names okay honey they're their parents did not name them darling so they're full they're nameless so i did have people before ask me oh well why don't you name the brushes that you use well girl if i if they had a name, I would let you know, but they don't. Right, until I buy brushes that have last names on them, honey, or I get brushes with names on them, honey, I do not know who is who, what is what. All I know is they work, and I like them, okay? And this is my brow bone highlight color. So, yeah, you guys, like, I do love and I do prefer um, powder like this for high, for brow bone highlight. If you guys go back in my videos, you guys will barely, rarely see me use eyeshadow as my brow bone highlight. I usually just use my foundation or a foundation or something of the sort. Just because it looks more natural and just because it looks better. And don't forget to blend, honey. You gotta make sure just because you threw that in there does not mean you just leave her there. You gotta blend that yellow, honey. You gotta blend that color in. Blend her in, darling. Blend her in, baby. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She is accomplished. She is successful. <laughs> After we're looking like this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to now apply some more of the primer. And I'm going to apply it on my lower lashes. Eyeshadow because have something to stick on underneath my lower lashes. Because right now, they don't have nothing to stick on. So, if I put it on, you know... They, they'll it'll go on there, but it's not sticking onto anybody. So you need to put some body on there to get stuck onto, darling. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to first apply that same purple that we applied earlier. I'm going to take that purple and I'm going to apply it, this purple right here, or whatever purple you have that is similar to that color, girl. Or boy, darling, no discrimination here. And I'm going to apply it in the outer corner of the lower lashes and bring her in slightly but i'm not gonna um i'm not gonna go all the way in i'm gonna just stick it into the, uh, the outer portion i'm gonna smoke her out but before we go any any deeper i'm gonna stop right here okay and i'm gonna go into this satiny purple which is the, this one right here maybe honey well again distance i don't know her um but i'm gonna stop her literally where okay I'm going to stop her literally where my inner pupil ends or begins, whatever you want to call it. So right here. So that's where I'm going to apply this color. It's also a beautiful purple. It's a dark, deep purple, and it's a little satiny. Take the blending brush, and I'm going to blend her. Then after we blend her out, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to apply this beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous gold right up here. It's absolutely stunning. And I'm going to apply that, honey, you don't even got to wet her. Look, who? Who needs water? Nah, huh? Falling for you, girl. Miss Lee, darling, you have done this. Get her right in here, honey. Okay, how you doing? 300 pounds, are we 165? Are you doing? Um, I know she's looking a little crazy, it's okay. Because we're going to go back. 
into that purple and we're gonna marry them together and basically pretty much overlap that purple over that gold not all the way in but just the corners the edges where they meet just make sure they marry honey okay now that we're looking like this what i'm going to do next is apply this eyeliner this is the style essentials eyeliner but it looks like this and it's pretty much just a pink eyeliner like this and i'm going to apply this in my inner tear duct area then after we look I'm like what i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to use this is a makeup forever graphic liner and this is in the color black and it's just a liquid eyeliner and i'm gonna do a slight skinny liner um I um so yeah so at this point i would apply lash but i'm not gonna apply the lash because it's in the other room so i'm gonna finish your face then i would apply the I'm lash. i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to highlight underneath my eyes this starlux cream full coverage concealer cream which looks like this from Starlux. just highlight right here get lift up that eye darling i'm gonna take some of it and run it right here i'm gonna first up uh, before i even drag this out and let this set i'm gonna first apply my contour shade for my nose just to make it a little bit more easy for me and I'm gonna use this black opal foundation and this is the color hazelnut. And I'm going to, this is my nose contour shade. I'm gonna apply a little bit of it underneath my, on my nose bridge. But I don't wanna apply too much, like I just applied. I don't know why I'm always having technical difficulties, but we're getting this together. So basically, I just take, you see the highlight, the contour shade, and I literally just take my brush and I just blend it up. I don't try to go down here too much because if I go down here, then I like my contour very pronounced. So I blend her up. You know, Kiyash contour, he's very dramatic with the contour. And he likes a, 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 you know, very pronounced contour. So therefore, that's why I do what I do. You know what I mean? But you don't have to do what I do. You do what works for you. So you don't have to do it that way. But, you know, if you want to, you can. Our mineral. This is a loose powder foundation. And the color is clear light, which looks like this. Um, And this is just basically a mineral foundation. So it's like a loose powder foundation. And it is light. And I'm going to apply this right underneath my contour because I want my contours to pop. I want my contour to pop severely. So I'm going to take it and literally just apply it right there. Boom. Okay. Boom. Okay. Now this, I'm going to leave. I'm going to let it work. I'm going to let it do its job. You know, he is going to give me a chiseled contour. This is going to give me a illusion of losing weight. It's going to give me an illusion of everything. So therefore, that's why I use it. So Now, after we're looking like this, I'm going to apply blush. The blush that I'm going to apply are two different blushes from the bomb. I'm going to first apply Frat Boy, which is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful matte pinkish shade from the bomb. And I'm going to apply that blush on the apple of my cheeks. She's matte, which is beautiful. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply this other blush from the bomb, kind of like an orgasm from NARS, a pink with gold reflexes in there. And I'm going to apply a little bit of her as well on top. More towards the back, though. Then I'm going to just go make sure, you know, you buff everything out. Make sure the two blushes look like they're just one. After we looking like this, I'm going to now go ahead and um apply my highlighter. Highlighter, no mad highlighter, honey. And this is the Kiss of a Sun highlighter. It's absolutely stunning. 
on my nose, the middle of my forehead. After I put it on, take a kabuki brush and I blend it just to make it look a little bit more flawless, a little bit more natural. You know what I mean? I would normally contour my forehead because I do got a big forehead, but I'm not doing that today. I'm not. I'm going to let the forehead just be there, honey. Just be there, honey. I'm going to now go ahead. Let's do lips. I'm going to first apply this Maybelline New York lip liner in the color 05 Rose, which this is a shade. It's like a nude with a pink tint to it. And I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to use this Victoria's Secret Sweet Nothing Lipstick. Um, remember when Victoria's Secret sold makeup? I don't think they sold makeup no more. Nude. And this is the lip color I'm going to use. Now we could go ahead and take the Kabuki and buff this color out. Or in this powder off. I'm going to go into this Nastasha Beverly Hills. This is the liquid lipstick and this is in the color Milkshake. And I'm gonna apply that in the in the inner portion of the lip just to make it look a little lighter. And it's like a light, honey, baby pink. Well, pretty much done with the look. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lashes and I'll be back with the rest of the video. I did apply a setting spray, but I'm gonna do a little, um, the setting spray that I used was the CoverGirl Cooling Setting Mist All Day Wear. Okay. And I'm gonna apply this Maybelline this Milani Baked Bronzer, and this is in the color Lay. I'm gonna apply this bronzer and bronze my face up. And this is the look, you guys. So this is the look, you guys. I hope you guys like, I hope you guys enjoy. Please show me love on my social media. Remember, my Snapchat is more every day, day to day, what I eat, what I watch, what I'm ranting about, what I'm talking about. Instagram is more makeup related. Beauty related, beauty thing. TikTok, I don't know what's going down with her. I don't really use it like that. But this is the look. I hope you guys like. I hope you guys enjoy. Again, honey, I love this palette. And no better way to start my first makeup tutorial than with a palette that I received in a giveaway and a palette that I'm in love with and a palette that's absolutely amazing. So you guys, I will leave all my information down below. Go and check me out. Besos y abrazos. I love you guys. Bye bye.